Hello, I'm Avi. Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. We're at Maker's End. That's where we left off. And there is a vantage around here, which I want to get. So this is where we go. I think this should be somewhere around. <laughs> somewhere around. Let's see. There it is. They are also show walkers. So, this way. And we need wood. If I remember correctly, a lot of wood. That's shock wax. Um, and also a little medicinal. Ha! Huh. By the way, I think, yes, I think rightly, that we have three skill points and I want to get the combat overrate plus, which increases the time a machine will remain overridden indefinitely. Yes, please. And yeah, the, uh, <clears throat> the roll after that. <laughs> we can't do without the roll. Now, I just spied something. Three. And I think I remember some watchers come running when we took out the corrupted zone. So there should be watchers somewhere around. Do we have some watchers around? Well, if so, they are hiding. Yeah, definitely. None I can see. How shall we do this? Hmm. Let's get three on and let's um which which one's to start with? This one? You're going down. Yep. Go away. What can I hide? Don't really know where this came from, do you? Yes, get your claw off. Nope, this one. I think there's someone heading this way. around here. Oh, you still have your shield there. Well, that won't do at all. You also have your claw there. Awful thing. It's protesting. Come on, spam it a little. Sure. Surely you will die. Yes. How about you? Oh, you still have your crate on. But oh, it's holding it in place. Can you see this? <laughs> oh, poor thing. Yep. It's gonna be the end of you. That's it. Three shell walkers. Yep. Looks like it. Well, let's see what we get. Did we explode the crate? No, we didn't. What do you have? 50 metal vessels. Yeah, okay. Why not? A few metal shards. So, and you know why uh fine 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 uh 
And the last one. Where are you hiding? Isn't there another one? Where are you? Where art zoo? Hmm? Seriously? I'm confused here as to where I just killed all of them. Where am I going anyway? This way. Isn't there another one? Where are you, a fox? Ha! Ah, Glint Hawks. Nice. Did I loot all of them? Did I just miss one? Could have sworn I've just missed one. But maybe not. Maybe I'm just very confused. Or very greedy. That's <laughs> the case, maybe. So. Oh, no, there it is. There it is. I was right. Why didn't it show up? Well, that's just great. Machine core and metal vessels. Okay. Well, given that I've just seen Glint Hawks, I might want to prepare a little. So, where do we have to go? Do we have a path? Somewhere. Oh, I guess. Oh, have we arrived? Can't go up this way. Fine. Let's take a look again. Yeah, no, we should be able to get up here. Seriously. Kind of looks like a path. No? Yes. You know what? Let's get it over with. Not much gets past them. Mm -hmm. Ooh, another one. Okay, yeah, come on here. Come on. Just what I need. Okay, can't reach you there, can I? Come on. Come on. Yep. Seriously. We need one more. Fine. That's pretty much it, isn't it? Yes. We'll burn out. Yes. Come on. Come on. You can't seriously be alive. Yes, just perished. Do we have another one? No. Okay. Two more. Very easy to so kill. So much for being careful. Yeah. Very easy to kill Glint Hawks. So, I think this is where we have to go. Is that a climb point? Yes. This way? Around, around, around. And around some more. No, there is something above us. Yes. Aloy, one more push. Come on, come on. Can do it. No, we want to go around again. Fine, let's go around again. Now? Yes? Okay, excess advantage cash. No, I can't see a thing. And I might want to take this flag off. Yeah. It's a bit unfortunate that it is dark. Where are we? Ferro automated Apocalypse solutions. At storm tour. Day one. Where better to start than at the end? Or where the end started, anyway. Ground Zero. Where it all came crashing down. My career first. Then everything else. And I mean everything. Oh boy. So, it's not getting any warmer out here. 
No, that's all you have to say to this? No, that's the building we were on top of. Just climbed up there. Unfortunately, we can't see what is there now, but there wasn't much left. So let's see what he writes. Notebook collectibles. So, Faro Automated Solutions, found in Maker's End. So, hi Ma. Remember how ecstatic we were when I landed a job here? Aerospace Control Engineer at Faro Automated Solutions, straight out of Stanford U. Saturday I was tossing a mortar board. Monday I am an employee of the biggest corporation on earth. Starting wage? Six times basic. It was a dream come true, yours as much as mine. When I found out I'd landed the gig, I waited until graduation day to tell you in person. You were so proud. You hugged me five minutes straight, laughing and crying at the same time, saying over and over, onwards and upwards. The start of great things. I thought so too. It seemed as though nothing bad would ever happen to me, to us, ever again. But bad did happen, of course. More bad than I ever knew was possible. And while I can't blame FAS for making you sick, Metallurgic gets the credit for that, I can sure as hell blame Pharaoh for the rest. But let's talk about the end of the world later. It plays a part in this story, of course. If I hadn't found out what was coming, I wouldn't be doing this, leaving these time capsules behind. But the apocalypse isn't the story I want to tell. This is going to be about our family, about us. It's time to get going. I've spent enough of my life in the shadow of this place. I've got 11 more vantages, vantage spikes in the trunk of the Sabara I rented. And some pretty good ideas for where to sink them. So let's get the hell away from this place and start sinking. So, this is begi the beginning of it. And, yeah. So he wants to tell the story of his family that much. I dare say we sermist. And, um, hmm. Let's see where this leads us. So, we have a, yep, supply crate. Uh, quite yeah, a good haul. Yeah, blast traps again. And I think we have quite a lot of these boxes. Might. Nope. Oh dear. Nope, don't drop them. Yes. Rich wood. Rich wood. Metal shards. Okay. Yep. Okay. I thought there were more, but nope. We have to work on that. Don't fall off, Aloy, please. Just go down the conventional way. So, okay. We got the vantage. And question is, what now? We're way up north. And the next one would be the Grey Fort. It's over on this side. But no, that's not what I want to do yet. What I want to do, though, is go back to Meridian because Erin is waiting for us. We kind of left it hanging again after we found out what might have happened to Ursa. Well, Aloy's very elaborate theory on this. And now we have to meet Aaron at the Palace of the Sun. So, I think that is where we might go next. And as it is quite some way away, and we missed a merchant there. Hmm. Okay. So, I think we'll fast travel to this nice little town. And, yeah, let's fast travel to this. And I'll be back in a minute. And we have arrived in Meridian. So let's find 
palace and take a look at it. Should be interesting. We're we going. Which way? This way? This way. No, this way. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Rapid change of direction. Coming through. Don't mind me. Oh. We missed a data point at some time. No, at some point. We missed a data point at some point. No. Great, that's nice. Um, the Mad Sun King. That's a scant glyph. So what about that Sun King? The reign of the Mad Sun King. Be warned, reader, that as a true account of the Mad Sun King Durant's acts, these glyphs are blotted in blood. Truly, the savageries committed can barely be recounted, so pray to the cleansing sun for yourself and the teller of these tales. God, he loves alliterations. You will learn of the grievous wounds inflicted on foreign lands in the reaping of sacrifice, the red raids. For the mad sun king would order a whole generation cut from each village so they might more willingly supply sacrifices and be harder pressed to field fighting men on the next raid. The Utaro, who sought to appease with gifts of grain, were slaughtered in such number that upon the following harvest the maize grew black and blue with the blood of the dead. Against the Osaram, the terror of the sun piled the corpses of their fallen up to the walls of their villages so high so his kestrels might clamber upon the dead to enter. And in the valley of the barbarian Nora, terrors of the savage east, such savagery ensued that the trees were drooped with corpses hung as grim warnings. Yeah, indeed, steep with blood. Should he wish to read of the mad king's dep depredations against his own people, your curiosity will not go unsated. Within are accounts of the deaths of those sentenced to the sun ring, Listed in such detail, you might think it reported by their own chattering skulls once piled outside the city gates. Nor will you find a more harrowing account of his massacre of the Hunter's Lodge. Reading these accounts, you might imagine yourself among its brave hawks as they fought to the last, bloodying the sand from dawn to dusk or perhaps in the crowds as the loosed behemoths careened through the stands with a crashing of wood and bone. All this crazed bloodletting did the mad Sun King take in with his pitiless gaze. Indeed, he would not even look away from the goring of his own son in that ring of death. Yes, fair-haired Kadaman, Kadaman of the dawn's rising, so degraded and doomed for the crime of standing against his father. Such a true and complete account of the mad Sun King Geron's miseries cannot be found in the history, annals, or heard from the reckoners of the Sun Priests. It is with a heavy heart that I scribe these events, leaving out no shocking detail, but my debt is to history and to you, brave reader. Well, unfortunately, this is the end. So where are the really gory bits you promised? Hmm? Okay. Guess you wanted to spare us. Why does King Avad protect the people of And there was apparently an heir we haven't heard about yet. Hmm. Always stay alert. It isn't the present Sun King, obviously. Whom we are about to meet. An alert. Yep, bright and alert. So, how do we get in? Who are you? Marat, I presume. Yep, Blameless Marat. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You are needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. 
First the Oseram gets special treatment, and now Outlanders from the savage interest could the Sun King have in her. Passed by some Outlander woman? Unacceptable. <laughs> Do you wish to file a complaint here? Huh? The front of the line. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. Good grief. More data points. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Let's see that is true. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Errand, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Oseram, a warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Oseram had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliff. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Oseram, but I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well? Errant, Murad, let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Who is Durval, exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asaram. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. Yeah, well, that would get everyone to think about killing, isn't it? So, why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. Then she came to me. Together we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asaram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies. I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. The killers who attacked the Nora. I've discovered that they're a faction of Shadow Karja called the Eclipse. They're digging up ancient weapons, machines that corrupt and control other machines. They want to use them to strike Meridian. What you're saying echoes reports I've received from Murad, a Shadow Karja splinter group, corrupted machines across the land. When will this attack come, do you know? I'm not exactly sure. And we will do what we can to prepare. But in the meantime, Ursa is my highest priority. Please, help me find her. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. 
By all means. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. Your politics seem... very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too? I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans and the Claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination, and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. Okay. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Aaron if you have further questions. Yeah, sure, we will help you. What have you been reading? Founding of Meridian. The founding of Meridian. We are Karja. In us is the blood of those led by Araman from persecution and pursuit so long ago. Out of the far savage east we came, guardians of a treasure greater than land or metal, the leavers of the old ones. No, the leaves of the old ones. Araman found the leaves in a ruin picked out by a beam of sunlight, and he recognized at once their importance. Within was, e was edged the first teachings of how to observe the sun, to recognize its guidance and to understand the place of man. From out of the leaves came the first glyphs, the first writing, so our knowledge could last longer than voices. So he must have found some records of the old ones. Hmm. But when our forefathers offered to share this gift, they were driven out by those they had once called tribesfolk. These ones feared to have the light of knowledge brought to bear on their ignorance or were jealous of its power. And so began the long wandering of our people, trusting only that the sun would guide them and deliver them from the barbarian tribes. Well, if they came from the east, then they came roughly out of Nora territory? Hmm, let's go on. The path was hard and marked by the stones of families who fell along the wayside, even Araman's own. The persecution was unceasing from those without purpose, only the desire to debase and destroy. But the faith of the Karja was rewarded with a distant vision, a tower like a solid ray of the sun holding on the horizon, flashing. That's the spire, isn't it? Even as their enemies descended upon them, Araman followed the flight of the Glinthawks, leading his people through looming canyons and teeming jungles. Again they saw the tower, so close now, it seemed to reach the very sun itself, and they saw that the Glinthawks perched 
upon it. Beheld in the light of the sun, the tower, the spire, cast its long shadow upon a mesa across the verdant valley. Araman knew he had found a haven for the tribe, as this was a place shunned by those without his faith, who cowered from the magnificence of the spire or the shining feathers of the glint hawks. He named this place Meridian, from a passage in the leaves, and the tribe settled in the protection of the great mesa. They found the site was blessed in every respect, carving their cliff houses from the bounteous resources and in time from the red rock of the mesa itself, crowning it with the first columns of the City of the Sun. Truly, the sun gave much to the descendants of our forefathers, granting Meridian great harvests and prosperity, and the bounds of the sundom for as far as its light touched. In time, seeing Meridian shielded us, from the dark arrows and plots of our foes. Other foreigners brought trade and tribute. Holy Meridian. Without spire and sun, there would be no Meridian, but now and forevermore it stands as a monument to both, and the glory of Araman and the founders is reflected anew in each sun king of the radiant line, and the noble houses of the sun court. Meridian. Okay, this was... <laughs> Yeah, the Meridian Line, right? Huh? Okay. Well, I guess I'll see you later. Or can we talk to you again? What do you need, Aloy? Nothing really. I have to go. Understood. Okay, okay. Um, how do I get <laughs> get out? Here we go. And wait, no, we can talk to these two. Well, let's talk to you first. And I think I'll skip the other glyph because we're going to come back to the, to this place anyway. So, Blameless Marat. Aloy, how can I be of service? It's obvious that you're an advisor to the Sun King, but what is it you do exactly? Whatever is needed, of course. Are you always so evasive? It depends. You were right about Avad. He seems genuine. He is the Sun King. I serve him the best I can. What else would you have me say? Huh. Did you serve the last one as best you could, too? Well, I served him to his enemies. It was the best I could do for the Sundom. What did you do? Nothing I could be blamed for. Yeah. Sounds to me like you're a spy. There are many helpful voices in the Sundom and beyond. I like to think of myself as a good listener. So why do they call you Blameless Maraud? Well, it depends on who you mean by they, and what they might wish to blame me for. <sighs> Talking to you is tiring. So they say. God, can you get more invasive? <laughs> What will I find at the border? An outpost full of Osaram, most of whom want nothing to do with Durval. Still, he inspires great loyalty in those who fought with him against the last Sun King. He will not be caught alone. And don't forget, he is a master craftsman. Nothing delights him more than his dangerous toys. Mr. Tinker. What makes you so sure Durval did this to Ursa? I don't care for sure or certain. I prefer likely or probably. How many Osirum are clever enough for this ruse? Capable of building the weapon you described? Who hate Ursa so... More than one? Not likely. Durva? Quite probably. Even if people think he's dead? That is surely another reason to be suspicious of certain words. I have to go. Then you must. Goodness. But he is really, really tiring to talk to him and uh, to follow his twisted brain. Hmm. So, I thought Ursa was dead, and I thought Durval was dead. Dead doesn't seem to mean what it used to. Or maybe I'm just an ass. 
Whatever. All I know is that it's time to find my sister and get some payback. I hope Murad's guy grabs us a lead. Did Ursa ever tell you anything about Durval? Well, we were both under his command for a while. <laughs> sort of. Helped him recruit an army to take out the mad Sun King. But then he got real creepy with Ursa. Needless to say, she wasn't interested, but he wouldn't let it go. Not to mention the fact that we realized he wanted to murder every Karja, not just the bad ones. Long story short, he's a grazer-licking dumbbag. Grazer-licking. <clears throat> yeah, I think I get the picture. Avad seems committed to finding your sister. Yeah, those two got along. And some people say they shacked up, but I, I don't buy it. Seems a little skinny for her. Oh, okay, some bad images are forming in my head. Let's just focus on finding her. And kicking Durval's ass. I'd better go. Don't stand me up in Pitchcliff, okay? Ursa needs us. Okay. We actually have another mission in Pitchcliff, I think. But Pitchcliff is... Not exactly where I want to be right now. It's up here. But we'll have to wait because what I do want to do is go down here. There's another cauldron. There's also another tall neck. There's a hunting ground and there's a corrupted zone. And then there's this little village. And I think we might want to explore all of this. Also, there's this, and this is Deadliest Game. We have to get a Stormbird Trophy, and we still haven't actually tried our luck with a Stormbird. So, south it is. There are also two Metal Flowers. There's Vantage, so a lot to do. A lot to discover. And that's where we will go. To make this a little faster, I think I'm going to fast travel to this campfire because otherwise we have to take the very, very slow elevator. And I don't really want to do this. So, back in a minute. So willing, the more survive to see another day. Yeah, so we're in Meridian Village. And. I think I might want to set a flag or something so that we can find our way. Oh, let's try this one first. That's that away. But that away might be water. Yep. <laughs> so we have to go around. Sorry, Aloy. No, I think this is not the right way. This might be. Well met, Outlander. And we need some more wood. I think quite a lot of it. Having said this, um, crafting carry capacity. What can we get? No. Nope. What do I want? First, Ripcaster. Okay, 200 Ridgewood. We have a shitload of shards, but mm, not that much Ridgewood. So do this as well, and yeah, now we are yeah out of Ridgewood. Right, so we have 158 left. So, rich wood collecting it is. We're gonna do this on the way. Anything but boars and turkeys. Turkeys in the jungle. Chargers. Yeah. And something banging. Kind of sounds like a watcher. And I think they are long legs. Are we going the wrong way? 
Do I need a mount? No, I don't think I need a mount. There's something going on there. Yep, there is a watcher fighting someone. Help! Yep, almost missed it. <laughs> Come on. I'm not quite sure what I just hit. Okay, completely ignoring us. Out of ammo, but not out of ice. Out of Amos. No, we are not out of ideas either. By the sun, please help me. Yeah, I'm trying to. Seriously. Oh boy. Nope. Yes. Okay. Need some more wood. Please stop, just for a moment. Yeah, I will. Where are you? Up there. Sorry to bother, but could we talk? Yeah, bother me all you want. Which of you want... Oh, I already got a generous reward box. So you don't really want to talk. But you gave us some goodies. Yeah, no, you don't want to talk. Fine, then don't. And don't get into trouble again. What's that? Fire kiln. More machines. Ooh, and a ball. Don't scare me like that. We also might want to be careful because there are quite a lot of stalkers in this area. Long Lake machine site discovered. Hmm. Yep, pick it up, please. There's another satellite dish. Let me guess. Okay. This is on top there, isn't it? Well, there is going to be a mission up on that block, or whatever it is. And um, so we have to go there anyway. So I might not want to collect this now. Right. Okay, let's um, go there first. Because I don't want to climb up all of that way. And then have to do it again. So, quick change of plan. And let's find the tall neck. So we can lift these clouds. We can actually see where we're going. Might regret this. Really? Why? My focus is receiving another signal. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Signal. That tall neck must be the one sending the signal. Likely. Spear shafts. Jump onto the tall neck's back. Yep. I dare say we have to battle our way through. What is it? I think there it is. Ooh, and nice sun flares. I just need to get on the tall neck's head. Yes, Aloy, we will. We will. Look at it. There is a sawtooth. There's something else too far to scan. And, um. Where do we have to go? Oh, we have a. Right, we have a rope. Why do we have a rope? Where does that rope lead?
Hmm. What's up there? I want to know what is up there. Can we climb somewhere? Yes, we can. Up, Aloy. Um, up. Yes. Thank you. And now... A lot of vegetation here. How does this continue? Because there is no... Is that one? No. Seriously? Can't be a dead end. Climbed up there. Okay, let's walk around here. Uh huh. I can't remember ever been being up here. Okay, I discovered something new. And why would we want to do this? Is there anything else? Anything else to see? Trees. Who put this here and why? Hmm. If I start jumping around, I will probably fall down. Right? And if I scan this, there isn't anything? Hmm. Can you jump? Come on, can you... Oh, oh boy. Don't fall off. Well, there's absolutely nothing up here. Well, let's take that rope. Oh dear, don't fall off. Please don't fall off. Um, let's take that rope and uh, let's see where this will lead us. If we can reach this, can we reach this? Oh, I guess so. Oh boy, oh boy. No, Aloy. You can smell the new day on the wind. Can you? Oh, gosh, gosh. <laughs> I thought she'd miss. Oh. Campfire discovered. Right. Nice ride. And we did this. Why? Hmm. Yeah, odd. Very odd. Now let's get over it. Um, We have... Long legs and a watcher. Now let me guess, I have to go where the long legs are. Let's um put the war bow on. No, nope. I want these. Can I get you? Yes. Here they come. Hmm? So I want to get your your antennae off. Right. So they are alerted, but I get you. Come on, look this way. Ah. Yes. Right. Who else? Another bird. And another watcher. And there's one more bird. Are you too far away? I think this was a ah, thing. Sawtooth coming, I think. Oh, freak. Yep. Nope. You won't. You won't. Go away. I don't really want you. Can we also put the... Rope cast on. Just to make sure this guy isn't going to get in the way here. Hmm. 
That one held. Dose. We can find it somewhere. No, it's still burning. Oh, I think that wasn't burning enough. Oh, a freak. Aloy, roll, roll. <laughs> Get out of the way there. Oh, it's coming this way. on. I think. Yep. I think that one's dead. Yes. A burnt art sword tooth. So you will not interfere. Right. Let's get the rest. Oh, there is a climb path. So go down and be careful that that uh, tall nake doesn't get us. I also think we can... Oh, we also have to climb. Thought I might just walk, but... Let's see. Mm. Let's get you first. Where are you? <laughs> mm -hmm. Nope, don't move. Hey, no, get out of the way. Yep. And the second one. Weak. No, yeah. Well, the. Oh, it's a purple one. The long leg is too weak. Definitely. 30% resist shock weave. No, well, that's appropriate. Okay, another one. Do we have another one this way? I will kill all of them. Something else. Oh, another sawtooth. Hmm. Are you going to come over here? No. Let's not attack this one. Let's get the bird though. Just go back to Yes. No. Frick. You did have to call in help. Um, can you get up here? Don't think so. Hmm. Do I have to get rid of you? Oh, it might be able to come. Do I have another bird on this side? down. Now, there is... okay, there's another bird. And then there's this one, and there is also a watcher! Goodness! Get this one first. No. Oh, frick. In the wrong direction again. Headlong flight. Oh. Don't quite know what's coming. But no, nope. oh, don't get stuck. Oh, lots of birds. Hmm. Safe for a few minutes. Are you sure about this, Aloy? Are you really sure? Because 
I'm not. Let's get you. Come on. Yes. Out of the way. Out of the way. No, didn't I hit this? Hmm. Yeah. Brilliant. Yes. This time. It's gone. Yep. Uh, it's gone. Well, a lot of work just to jump onto a troll neck. Having said that, you don't really have to take them all out. <laughs> but what's the point of that? There's another one. Right. Let's get you as well. And then we have all the time we need. No. No. Don't get overexcited. Where is it? Gonna bring you down. If I can hit you, yes. Seriously? Hmm. Maybe I can't get this to stick. Another one. How many are there? Fascinating. If they weren't looking for me. Indeed. Get away, get away, don't get shocked. Yeah. And there's another one. Goodness. Okay, this works a little better. Can't keep it down. Nope. But it's shocked. Yep. Get out of the way, Aloy. And that is down. I think that was the last of them. So I hope that was the last of them. I should be able to jump onto the tall neck from here. Metal shots. Yeah, but it just went by. I'm not gonna stand around. Um, where's the other one? There it is. Um, where else can we jump on? Back to your business. Yeah, back to your business. And the business is trying to get onto that tonic. Can we? Yeah, that looks like a good spot. You're not gonna say anything? No. This should be a good spot for uh -huh. jumping onto the tall neck. Yep. <laughs> I knew you would say this. And let's get rid of a flag. Yeah. Well, very majestic. And very slow. <sighs> Come on. Yep, hang on. Made it. Yes. Now to climb up to its head. And Oh, I can hear another sawtooth. <laughs> hold on, please. Hold on. And we made it. Yes. Ah, oh, good. Let's have a ride.
So, Observer Log. Orbit. 987 initiated. Cycle. 808,225. Routing query sent, no response to prime, ping inert agent 27 of 31, dormant. Okay, nothing we didn't know. And I didn't repel down because there is, well, something not exactly an easter egg, but something to find if you know it's there. And we have leveled. Now there are two skeletons here holding hands. Well, waiting out. Oh, they waited out their last moments together. Hmm. And if you have space, you can get a health boost potion. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to step on you. Yeah. Now, the tricky bit is getting down again because I don't quite know how I don't think it goes down completely <laughs> which um, <laughs> means we're kind of stuck you can drop down there but then that's it so I don't really want to drop all the way to the bottom there. Yeah. So this means that uh, I'll have to fast travel out. <laughs> Which I will do promptly. Let's go there. And we have arrived very, very quickly. So. And I also think that's uh, quite enough work. That's why I kill, yeah, that's why I kill. And, um, yeah. Okay, then I think that's it for today. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. And if so, maybe we'll meet next time. I look forward to it. I look forward to many more adventures. But for the moment I just going to say bye 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 bye